Okay, so when you were given an irreducible quadratic in calculus, you were told to uh, factor it and try to get into form, you know, something squared plus a number. All right, let's write this down then. So I'm going to take this one here, and I want to complete the square on it. Let's write this down. So you get x squared minus root 3x plus 1. Well, let's put this to x squared minus root 3x you take half of the coefficient on the linear term, and that would be minus root 3 over 2, and square it, that would give you 3 quarters. Now, 3 quarters plus 1 quarter would, of course, be 1. So you get over your x minus root 3 over 2. We're completing the square, by the way. And then it's going to be plus 1 quarter. All right? In addition to that, what you were told to do was to factor out the uh, second term, which is a quarter. Let's put that down. So you get one quarter, and then you would get four times x minus root three over two squared plus one. Let's bring the four on the inside, and four is actually two squared. So you get one quarter, then you get two x minus root three. I'm bringing the two on the inside, by the way, squared plus one. Right, we do it for the second one as well, by the way. So what do you get there? You get x squared. Uh, let's see, plus root 3x plus 1. Same thing, x squared plus root 3x. Take half of the <coughs> coefficient linear term, which would be root 3 over 2, square it, you get 3 quarters. And 3 quarters plus 1 quarter, of course, is 1. And then what do you do? It, you, you, it's a perfect square now. You get x plus root 3 over 2 squared plus 1 quarter. What would you do now? Factor out a quarter. And you get 4 times x plus root 3 over 2 squared plus 1. You're going to bring the 4 on the inside. And 4 is actually 2 squared. So when you bring it inside, it's going to be 2. And what do you get there? You get 2x plus root 3 squared plus 1. All right? So. We just did both of them over here. And what I want to do is just, you know, kind of rewrite that, all right? And looking at it, it's really not that bad to do. So I'm going to get my eraser out, and I'm pretty, pretty comfortable that I did the, um, the two terms. You know what? I'll write it above. I don't want to erase that yet. So this guy over here, let's just write it above. It's going to be one-third times... 1 over x squared plus 1 minus, well, I see the 1 sixth, but I'm dividing by a quarter. And dividing by a quarter is like multiplying by 4. So it would actually be 4 sixths. And what's 4 sixths is 2 thirds times, this would be root 3x minus 2. And the bottom, let's write this down carefully, it's going to be 2x minus root 3 squared plus 1. Let's do the next one. And the next one, again, this is the denominator now. I still have that four, 1 quarter, so it's like multiplying by 4. So I get 2 thirds. And you get root 3x plus 2. And then bottom you get 2x plus root 3 squared plus 1. Let's make sure of that. Yeah. So let's, let's look and see if we've got that milestone, all right? And the milestone is, you know, the first term is pretty easy at one-third. It hasn't changed much, right? That's certainly recognizable. Then the minus two-thirds, make sure I'm talking about over here. I want to make sure you know it's written down for you. And then I get this over here. Let's make sure that's written. Yep, I got that one. Let's see if we get the next one, 2 thirds, and I get this over here, 3, yeah, we did it right. All right, it's a milestone now. Let me erase this out. Now, the next thing I do is realize that I, I, I think I'm, I'm really kind of done with simplifications, and there's a point to doing this. Um, one of the integrations is super easy to do, by the way, and it looks like that arc tangent, all right? So, for example, a constant over this thing over here, I got the arc tangent, but this is my trouble over here. So what I want to do is I'm going to split into two, but before I do that, I, I want to make sure I get the, the, um, the u substitution correct. So I'll write down what the u substitution should be. We'll do the first one first. 
you would equal, uh, let's see, 2x minus root 3. I want to point out I'm doing, I'm doing this as my u substitution. I want to, I want to get the top right because it's not there. It's just not there. That's going to be squared plus 1. I'm going to put du down. And du would be, let's see, 2, 2x minus root 3 to the first power times 2 dx. This doesn't look anything near the top at this point. So let me write this du down. And you're going to get, let's see, 8x minus, that's going to be 4 times root 3, which is 4 root 3, dx. All right? Now, again, my trouble is, is I, see, I see a root 3 on the x. So I get to multiply both sides by root 3 now. So root 3 du is 8 root 3x minus, that would be 12, right? All right, I'm going to... Um, you could divide by 8, but I'm going to divide by 4, because 8 was going to give me a fraction. I don't want to deal with the fractions. So you get root 3 over 4 du is equal to, that would be 2 root 3 x, I'm dividing by 4, by the way, minus 3. All right? Now, by the way, I, I sort of have it, but not really, all right? So I want to tell you what I do have on top, by the way. Let me get my eraser out. I'm seeing this on top, and I'm seeing the 2. So that would give me 2 root 3 x. I definitely see that, by the way. But I don't see the minus 3. So what i got to do is determine, you know, how would I do that? And, um, you know, I... I would look at it, and really what I'm seeing, I'm seeing, this is what I'm seeing, by the way. But I want to see this. And I want to see minus 3. So what I have to do, let's take a look at that. So if I want to see minus 3, I'd have to subtract 1. Right? That would give me 2 root 3x. Uh, yeah, I would get that. So let's see if we can do that. Well, I'm seeing this written down. Let me write this down for you. I'm going to write this over again. I'm sorry about it, not that. Let me get my eraser out. I'm going to be writing this down over again, this over here. I'm going to split into two terms now. And let me see if I can do that. And I see minus. It's always tough, right? 2 root 3. And I'm going to say minus 4. But I don't want minus 4. What do I want? Let me erase that. I actually want minus 3 minus 1. Because minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. But I just want this part. So I wrote that down. And that's right over here. I got that part done. But then we have we have minus a minus 1, which is plus 1. And that's right over here. 4 minus 3 is plus 1. So I got that part covered. All right? All right, I got to do the other one. And I bet the other one's just like this one. I mean, just like it. All right, let me get my eraser out. And I'm, I'm done with this. And I want to do the other one. All right, it was work. Well, we want to get there. All right, let me erase this too. The other one, I make a U substitution as well. I'll call this, I'll call this U1. And let me do the other one. I might as well call it dx12, right? Let's put the other u down, u2. And what would u2 be equal to? It's going to be 2x plus root 3 squared plus 1. So let's write this down. du2 equals 2. This is like deja vu all over again, right? Plus root 3 times 2 dx2 now. 
and then I'm gonna multiply it out. So du2 is four, let's see, no, it's not four, it's eight, right? Eight x plus four root three dx2. And let's keep track of this, right? Multiply both sides by root three. Root three du2 equals eight root three plus 12 dx2. I'm trying to keep track of my x's. That's what I'm doing, doing the x2 over here. And then what do you get? I'm going to divide by 4. Root 3 du2 over 4 equals 2 root 3 plus 3 dx2. Okay, let's take a look at that. And that one's probably a little bit easier to deal with over here. And I'm definitely seeing some of it, right? So I'm definitely, you know, 2 times this thing. I'm seeing this thing over here. But uh, um, that's, that's 3, right? And so what I need to do, I need to break it into two parts. What makes this easier to deal with is, is an addition problem. So I would break it into two parts as follows. I would say it's, you, know, you don't have to add, um, I'd have to add 1, all right? So let's, let's see if we did that. And I see this, just like we did before. And then, you know, the 4, four minus 3 is just plus 1, all right? So I got it. I got what I need, all right? I'll point out what I, what I mean by that. Um, I have five terms now where I, I'm pretty clear that I know the antiderivative of each of those terms. I kind of reorganize it, and one thing I did was I factored out a third, all right, just to make it easier on me. You get the first term, that's pretty simple, all right? Um, you know, second term, you know, pr pretty simple. Third term, and then these two terms over here. My next step, which we'll get to in a moment, is actually doing the integration on all four, all five terms. The first term is super easy to do, by the way. Thank you.